Hey guys, this is my WWE SmackDown spoiler video for uh, May. Oh my fuck! This... All right, May twenty-first, two thousand fifteen. My new camera suffered its first drop on the concrete. Came downstairs and I had my iPod in my hand. And then it just fell down. Luckily, it didn't break. Alright, let's get started here. That's a picture of Dean Ambrose on the front. Alright, Roman Reigns kicked off the show, announcing his entry into the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, Kane interrupted, denied him that opportunity, then gave him the night off while announcing Dean Ambrose was Bray Wyatt for the main event. Ambrose had interrupted the promos earlier. So right off the bat, we get a boring fuck who nobody cares about. And for some reason, we're supposed to care about him getting this match taken away from him. When he wasn't even supposed to be in it. Wasn't even announced in it. And we nobody really cares about Roman Reigns, so it doesn't even matter. And just get him the fuck off TV. Nobody gives a flying fuck about Roman Reigns for the last time. Stop pounding him down my throat. I don't want to see him anymore. Nobody wants to see him. He has no fans. He's not a draw. Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt in the main event. Wow, we just saw this match. Who cares? We've seen this match tons of times. Ambrose had interrupted the promo earlier. Sin Cara and Kalisto defeated Tyson Kidd. Wilson Matty Doris and Ascension in the Fatal 4-Way. That's yeah, a New Day and Primetime players said on the commentary. Wow. Good way to build up your match. Have a match between the teams that are going to face at the pay-per-view. So you already know what you're going to get, basically. But there's going to be a chamber around it. So it makes it see... You're going to say, oh, it makes it's better because there's a chamber around it. Yeah, fuck you. And have the Primetime players and the New Day bore the fuck out of me on commentary. You know how you know how racist this is? Have the two black teams be on commentary. Renee Young interviewed Dolph Ziggler. Lana interrupted and flirted with the show off, which we just saw on Raw. I don't give a fuck. Ziggler defeated Bad News Barrett. Lana watched from ringside. Nothing to advance. Lana just watches from ringside. This is the PG era. We're not going to get this hardcore sex scene. So who gives a flying fuck about this new relationship? Ziggler defeats Bad News Barrett. Wow, a match we've seen a thousand and three times. Wow. Get off the same shit and mix off. You have tons of people on the roster. Have Ziggler face Biggie Langston or something instead of the same old shit. Not uh, Paige cut a promo calling herself the number one contender, which is stupid because she's not the number one contender because she was filming a movie. So why waste our time because we know she's not the number one contender. Naomi and Tamina jumped her, but Nikki Bella made the save. Wow, make the stable you have going on look weak as fuck. Nobody cares about Tamina, nobody cares about Naomi, nobody cares about Nikki Bella. So I incorporate her with... Why would, just, why would you just have this? Nobody gives a fuck about any of these divas. Take the title off Nikki Bella, she sucks. Bray Wyatt cut a promo. Wow... It's going to be the same old shit promo where he's going to say, he's going to say, oh, I'm scary. The bad guy wins. It's like, who gives a flying fuck? Raven can easily out-talk this motherfucker any day. Raven was a beast. Bray Wyatt is a pussy. R-Truth defeated Stardust. Who gives a fuck? We just saw this match. Ryback talked to Renee Young, vowing to become the next Intercontinental Champion. Wow, who gives a shit? You vowed to beat Bray Wyatt. You vowed to get over, and nothing has happened. <laughs> you you broke those promises. Macho Man down Curtis Axe defeated Adam Rose and Heath Slater. This team isn't getting a these teams aren't getting a big reaction. 
So who gives a fuck? Get him off my TV screen. Renee Young interviewed Bo Dallas. That's fine. As long as he says something cool or decent and funny. Dean Ambrose defeated Bray Wyatt. During the match, Seth Rollins and JJ Security interfered. Roman Reigns made the save. Here's what I don't get. Why would you have Bray Wyatt lose when he just won against Ryback? Why do you intentionally make him win on a pay-per-view, then just bury him right after it? It just doesn't make any sense. Why is the, what is the purpose of Bray Wyatt if you're not going to do anything with him? Fuck this company, man. It sucks dick. Couldn't you have Dean Ambrose face somebody else than Bray Wyatt? That's actually over? Well, I don't even know if they have anybody. That's the problem. That just goes to show you nobody's over. That's why they have to re refer to the people who are over to get buried. And the people that are over are actually good fucking heels and faces. But they just get buried. Because they have nobody else to fucking do anything with. Because nobody else is over. You can have Dean Ambrose versus... I can't even think of anybody they could have had in this match. Who was a heel that, and that actually gets booze. Dean Ambrose versus one of the New Day members. Uh, Dean Ambrose versus uh, John Cena. He's supposed to be a face. I don't fucking know. This company sucks, man. Oh, Dean Ambrose versus Rusev. Yeah, exactly. Why couldn't they have Dean Ambrose versus Rusev? Rusev's already buried enough. Nobody ca really cares about him that much. Oh, well. Don't give me the excuse, though, they don't want to bury him. Because Cena just beat him in three different pay-per-views. This, this company sucks dick. Peace out.